I'm going to be talking today about a topic which is actually a lot in the news, uh, human trafficking. It's not a very pleasant topic, um, but it is a topic that um, I think uh, should we should, one, all be aware of, and two, we need to um, uh, be so aware, hopefully we are mobilized to act. Owning a slave today is illegal in all countries, uh, yet slavery exists uh, around the world and no country is immune. We find slaves in every country in the world. This heinous crime is about people who become completely controlled by another person, who exploits that person, uses coercion and violence to maintain control. It's all about the profit that individuals can make by uh, the force, fraud, and coercion they use over other people. Victims are among the most vulnerable people who are seeking a better life for themselves oftentimes and greater economic security for their families and loved ones. They fall prey to the deception and false promises of people who gain their trust and then exploit them for profit. Modern day slavery is now recognized as a global challenge that requires a global response and most governments have joined as parties to key international instruments designed to prevent, suppress, and punish perpetrators of trafficking in persons. However, the prevention, enforcement, and protection and assistance envisioned by these instruments in most countries is not a reality. Too often, traffickers go unpunished and most victims, many victims, um, do not receive are not identified and do not receive the help that they need. I, I want to, I know this is a heavy topic, but I have to say that I want to, um, uh, I want to make sure that I leave you with a message of the fact that, that this is happening all around us. It happens in every country in the world. It happens in the United States. And I want you to know that I don't want you to leave here feeling uh, powerless and sad. You know, the simple fact is, one, first, if you become aware, you can make a difference. And I want you to feel empowered that you can become knowledgeable about this particular issue and and you can make a difference. Maya Angelou said, when we cast our bread upon the waters, we can, pr we can presume that someone downstream whose face we may never see will benefit from our action. You may not ever see the impact of what it is you do if you make a commitment to make a difference. This is the kind of institution that, that promotes public service and c promotes, whether in public service or private service, um, the opportunity, uh, promotes the, the fact that what we want you to do is to see that you can make a difference and to go that course. Thank you. So we can take some questions. Thank you. Sure. Thank you so much for everything you shared. Um, it's easier for me to understand and have access to stories of how victims are pulled into the industry, um, to lots of coercion and kidnapping and seeing all that. But is there much research um, out there about how um, perpetrators and pimps and traffickers are pulled into the industry and how, mm -hmm. like, cycles explain maybe some of that? Mm -hmm. But like, mm -hmm. where is where can I find more information about that? Back. 25 years ago when we were studying um, the cycle of violence and child abuse and um, the extent to which abused children become abusers. Um, well, you know, there's a whole lot of people who are abused who do not become abusers. In fact, they become helpers. And we don't really know what differentiates those those things, what in the personal experience and the personal makeup of a person that, that takes them down one path versus another. Um, I can say one thing, though, is that I am, I am always amazed at... Um, the extent of the resiliency of the human spirit.